Hello, so today I'm going to be making a tutorial um, showing you how to separate the lows, mids, and highs into separate buses and then routing them back into a separate master bus so you can adjust the overall sound afterwards. And this is basically a tutorial for somebody on Google+, Plus, Jonathan McDaniel, who made an excellent trap song and kind of <laughs> posted and said, you know, asking for advice. But he really didn't need advice. It was a great, it was a great song. So uh, check that out if you, you know, I'll post a link to it in the description. But anyways, what I'm gonna do today is show you how to take sounds and route them into a separate bus. So let me just find a trumpet from let's see here. If I can find Chris Eo's sound pack. His sound pack is nice. Don't know where the fuck it is, so I'm just going to. Um, Jesus, fuck, where's oh, it's up at the top, correct? Uh, let me see here, brasses, rolling trellis. All right, so let me just get into the piano roll, and I will do a quick sixth note kind of trappy sound. Make these a little bit longer. Uh, no, actually, I'll just do one of these. All right. So once you have your basic sound, what I would recommend you do is um, clone this twice. Clone this sound twice. Copy your. Oops. Control copy, control V, control V. So now you have three of the same sounds, three of the same VSTs making the exact same sounds. All right, so now what you want to do is have this one routed. Okay, this is routed to effects one, so this one, it might all be that just because I put them on the sampler, but yours might be just starting out at zero. So put them into separate effects chains. So it's going to be one, two, and three. So now when you hit them, you can see that they're all making the exact same sound. So what I recommend you do is either take a parametric equalizer, this is what I would usually do, and go to remove the highs and the very lows, and it'll give you this nice little peak. Then you can basically filter out with these knobs what bands you want to keep. What bands you want to get rid of? So I'm just going to put this into the say right about the 200, 250 maybe. This I will put above the 250. And put this about uh, 20, maybe 25. And this one just above the 2500. Right, so now all together. You more or less have the original sound. But now it's separated off into three separate channels. Now, once you have this, you can adjust also so the parametric equalizers, so you can get you know more of the lows in here, scoop them up so they cross each other, and you're not losing as much as the sound is. You, know, you can adjust these. But basically, once you have them separated into this, we're going to rename this one the Horn Master, I guess. Boom. So now you take each of these and you right click over here to route them into the master bus. Each separately route into um route into um. So now they will all go into your master, you cut your master, and you cut the entire horn sound. But now what you can do is you can either, you know, you can separately compress these, you can add limiters, you can parametric, you can equalize more, you can filter, you can, you can do anything really, you can add a 
even if you wanted to add a heart. Let's say. And you know, then you have a better way of separating. Perhaps if you have a kick drum that's interfering with your bass, you can simply route. You know, say you had a kick over here, you could insert your peak controller, unmute it, attach it to, say, you know, link to controller, your peak, you know, invert that so it's gonna hit. And then, uh, shit, I should put something into there, I guess. Uh, fucking a sax. I'll just use sax for right now. Fuck it. That was one, two, three, four, six, right? So now every time here, you can see your horn low is ducking for your saxophone. Now I'm, you can you can achieve this by using a limiter you could do a lot of different things but basically I, I like to think of this and it, it, it lets you think of it in a different way where you could you know separate you could do this with any kind of instrument you could layer them up even if you had say this uh, this is your I forget if this is so this would be your lows you could throw this an octave down go to your highs throw these an octave oops throw these an octave up Oops. Okay, so now you have each of these. I'll take the hardcore off. But now you have each of these, you know, your highs or your lows set into your lows, so. Of course, this trumpet or horn doesn't sound that great, but. All together, you know, you can take your lows down if you want. You could achieve this with a filter on a regular, but I like to think of it this way. Just to, you know, add a little bit of boom for whatever. And you could also add more, you know, multi band compressors, another EQ if you want, just to get a tighter fix on the the, the parameter you're looking for. Or, I don't know. I don't know if this doesn't help. I'm gonna take another shot at this and uh, see what else I can think of for right now. And here's a little demonstration of the uh, how the different sounds are. This doesn't. This is just routed directly to the master, so there's no effects on it or anything. And these would be the three separate. So I'll give you the original. after you've separated and added a couple of little things. Not too much though. Actually, attacks. I didn't use that for anything. So it's not, you know, it's not perfect, but it gives it a more you know, a fuller sound. It also doesn't interfere with your bass if you duck the lows behind the thing, behind the peak controller. Sorry, this tutorial kind of felt shit, but I hope that kind of gives you a visual for what I kind of meant by separating the low, mids, and highs. Thanks. Bye. I guess I didn't need to stop that. Here we go.